Hey misers and makers, one of the best things that you can do as an upgrade for the ANET A8 is to convert it from a direct drive extruder system to a Bowden system. Now the bottom line is what you're doing here is you're moving that heavy stepper motor from right where the extruder is and where the gantry is where it's sliding back and forth and you're having to move all that weight. You're basically moving it off of there and you're mounting it somewhere on the frame typically and then you have a PTFE tube where the filament goes through right into the hot end on the uh, the extruder portion. Typically like a uh, E3D uh, J-head style that you can put there where it goes right into the extruder. And the way I've done it is I've actually set it up with an E3D, it's a clone basically, a cheap clone, and a volcano heat block setup. Um, that's just the style I like. It's got a, a longer section where the, the PLA or whatever filament you're using can heat before it's extruded. So that's the setup that I've got. I'm going to show it to you in just a little bit. First I'm going to show you when I first converted to the Bowden setup and some of the first prints that I did. I'm going to go back and show you some of that video and then I'll show you how I've got it set up now. Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first upgrades that I did as well is going from the direct drive extruder to a Bowden setup. The a a 8 comes with this direct drive where you've got the stepper motor on the actual extruder, the hot end and on the gantry. And when you do that, it's pretty heavy and so any kind of uh, change in direction is going to have a little bit of a jerkiness to it. and you have to run it at a little bit of a slower speed, whereas if we can get some of that weight off of here, then we can move a lot quicker and we can set the speed a bit higher so that we can print quicker and still have good quality. So I changed from this direct drive setup to a Bowden setup. So here we have the Bowden setup. And the whole point here is we basically move the stepper motor that goes into the extruder up here on the frame and that way it takes all the weight of that motor off of there and the filament is fed through this PTFE tube and goes into the hot end right here. I'll zoom in a little bit to see exactly how that's set up. So you can see this is actually an E3D clone set up and I've got a volcano, if I can let me pause it here, this is a, a volcano set up here. Uh, so it's got a longer a longer hot part, hot tube there where it melts the the filament. You've got the filament coming in here and you've got a fan on the other side here that's going to cool this and then right here is the hot end where it melts the PLA in this case and then extrudes it right down onto the hotbed. One of the challenges is since this is a little bit longer here with the volcano, it's a little bit longer, so it's a little bit lower down, you have a little bit less space for the z-axis. And it also made it a little bit of a challenge for the air duct here for the cooling because it's a little bit lower. So I ended up going back to the original air duct here, which happened to work pretty good there. So I had to print this out separately. I'll try to add a link to it in the description. I had to print this part separately to in, a, in order to do the Bowden setup. But it makes it a lot faster where you can print quality prints at a faster speed. Here I'm printing basically a clamp. I was using this clamp to hang my headphones on. There you go. That's the finished clamp. You just screw this in and fasten it on, in my case, a desk. And you can put the, this is actually upside down, so when you flip it over, the cord of the headphones can go through here, and then you just mount the headphones there. Let's see if we got a picture here. So there's the finished product. See, nice and smooth, looks pretty good, pretty good quality. Okay, so here is the way I have it set up now. And as you can see, 
where it used to have the direct drive stepper motor. Now we have moved the extruder motor up here. It's mounted on the top of the frame and it goes over here through the PTFE tube to a drive box. I'll upload another video on how I created this drive box. But the bottom line is the filament comes through the PTFE tube and then it goes into the Bowden setup and that's where it actually does the feeding and it actually will extrude and, and recess a little bit and so it'll be pulling it in and out from that point. So that's the stepper motor right there. It's got the, um, the drive system there. It goes through this PTF, uh, PTFE tube as well right down to the hot end. In fact, let me take this off here. Let me take the plexiglass glass down. Let me set that somewhere where it's not going to get messed up. Okay. And we've got it right here. You can see it behind the BL touch. Let's see if I can get a better angle here. There we go. So it's basically an E3D clone, a cheap one from China. And you've got the Volcano heating block. It's a little bit longer than most. I had to use a different um, air duct for it. But anyway, that's the setup I've got right now. In fact, I, um, I ended up breaking this part here that was where, where you see this kind of tan color it used to be there and it broke off so I had to do another one uh, that had a little bit more infill that was stronger but anyway that is the E3D setup with the Bowden extruder so it makes this very light a lot lighter than when you've got that motor sitting on it that's one of the advantages so you don't have all that weight there and it can print a lot faster without being too jerky and without all that change in momentum causing all kinds of problems. Uh, I would like to change this out a little bit. I don't really like this particular print here uh, for this setup. It's kind of low, uh, so I'm losing a bit in the z-axis because of it. And I don't like the cooling fan here in front kind of blocking the view of the print. I'd like to move this to the back so I've, I've got some other designs that I may use where, where the fan is in the back and blows from the back end. That way you can see everything that's going on. Um, anyway, that's how I've got it set up now. I've got the um, BL Touch clone there for the leveling and for the Z axis. So there's no Z end stop over here. There used to be but now the um, touch sensor actually detects where the bed is for the z-axis. So anyway, that's the Bowden setup. So it's, a, it's common, either direct drive where you've got the, um, the motor right there, or a Bowden setup where you have it mounted somewhere else. Those are the two most common ones. So that is my Bowden setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to put uh, videos on regularly. Primarily about A N A eight because that's what I have. That's why I enjoy uh, up upgrading. Like I said, I'm a miser and I'm a maker. I don't like spending money, but I like to make things, so I do it as cheaply as possible and then upgrade it. And that's half the fun is just upgrading it and uh, making it better along the way. That's how you learn, and that's where all the fun is. So that's the setup. Subscribe, share it with your friends, and let's have fun making.